from the Assistant Chief of the Metropolitan Police Department. Today, at approximately 12.20 this afternoon, a vehicle traveling northbound in the 1200 block of Mount Olive uh, opened fire to, to individuals that were inside the parking lot, or were standing inside the parking lot. Uh, several shots rang out before the vehicle fled, going towards uh, continuing on Mount Olive. As of right now, the vehicle is a four-door sedan. Again, we are in the preliminary stages, but based off of the real the information the real-time crime center received, they were able to develop an image, push it out on social media platforms to include the members in the field. Uh, we believe that we have that vehicle recovered in the District of Columbia. Uh, with that, there were four victims that were shot, three that remained on the scene that were transported uh, by DC Fire Department to a local hospital, all suffering from non-life-threatening injuries. And then we recently had a walk-in of a 16-year-old juvenile at a uh, local hospital as well, suffering from non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, again, as of right now, if you have any information, we ask that you call 202-727-9099, where you can remain anonymous, and or text him at 50411, and also remain anonymous. I'll open it up for any questions. Chief, do you have any evidence of a, of a return gunfire, exchange of gunfire here? We are in the preliminary stages uh, as of right now, no. And firing from the car? Right? Firing from the car and never coming to a stop. Is there any evidence that that 16-year-old may have been in the car? Preliminary stages. And where, where were the people standing? In the parking lot. Of the, of the liquor store? Of the, of the store, Circle 7. So on the sides, on the side of the store. So is it possible you had an exchange of gunfire here? Too early in the, in the uh, investigating stages to uh, even give you that answer. So um, they were all, so you had three adult males and one juvenile male? Yes. All with non-life threatening injuries? Yes. Um, any idea how many casings, I mean this is a pretty vast crime scene, any idea yet how many shell casings were found? We're still collecting. And any idea what kind of firearms were? That's still on the investigation as we continue to collect the evidence. You mentioned the real time crime center. That picture was out immediately. Easy. Immediately. How important is that to an investigation? Like it that? is significant. Um, because of the development of that vehicle and being pushed out to members in the field to include the social media platforms, we were able, the Metropolitan Police Department, the officers doing an outstanding job in their patrols and knowing their, their, their beats, were able to uh, recover that vehicle. In the District of Columbia. In the District of Columbia. As of right now, it's in the District of Columbia. District of Columbia, the vehicle was recovered. What you gonna do about making this area safe? It was, it was recovered uh, quickly. Recovered quickly. All right. What are you gonna do about making this area safe over here, though? Uh, we're gonna continue to work with community members, as many of them uh, have zero tolerance. They have, we have partnered and strengthened our partnership with community, our ANCs and our CACs. They support what we do and we share our information and our efforts. Uh, we, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a collective effort. And working with the community has helped us tremendously, especially with our text tips and, and remaining anonymous and leading us uh, with inf information for our investigations to close. So we ask that the community continues to support us, to uh, reach out to us and provide us information. Okay. One other question. Uh, did some of the victims run into that store back there after the shooting? Um, people scattered when officers, they were able to locate three individuals in separate locations, and we're still trying to find out where the incidents or where they were when they were shot. But for the overall, they were, uh, we can say that they were gathering in the, the parking lot. But they were located in different areas. So did you spell your first name? Darnell, D-A-R-N-E-L. Last name Robinson. One L. One L. Have a good morning. Have a good afternoon. Thank you, sir. All right, guys. There you have it from the DC Frenchman show and the news. We're over here with News Nine, News Five, all the little news. News. One day I'll have one of these cameras and be working with this company. Working with these companies. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is our. News guys, cameras. I gotta get one of these. That's a pretty big camera, guys. But um, thank you all for tuning in to the DC Frenchman show.
like, share, and to subscribe. Oh, wow. And there you have, have it from our police. That was the chief, <laughs> police right. chief. Uh, assistant chief, police assistant chief. All right, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Tune into the DC Frenchman Show. Take it easy. Shooting in Northwest Washington, D.C. Like, share, and subscribe, guys. Okay, guys, they're gone. Shooting in North East Washington, D.C., Mount Olivet, and Montello. The, um, the report said, guys, so they're on the case. They're on the Oh, they're collecting stuff now. Collecting bullets. Bullet marks. Like, share, and subscribe to the DC Frenchman Show. Dollar sign, DC Frenchman is my cash app. Um, tune in, guys. And like, 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 like. Adios.